When the desiccant in the sight glass turns pink, it's time to dry out the desiccant media. Start by removing the third stage canister. I find it's easier to turn the entire canister to loosen the collar, and then completely remove the collar and canister from the unit. Preheat your oven to 275 degrees Fahrenheit and get two regular sized baking sheets. Two baking sheets will be more than enough to hold the five pounds of desiccant contained within the canister. The desiccant does have a tendency to bounce all over the place, so keep your canister low when pouring this out and be gentle. With your canister completely empty, go ahead and spread the desiccant beads evenly amongst the baking sheet, trying to obtain a thin, even layer, which will make the drying process much quicker and more efficient. The next step will be to place your baking sheets in the oven. Here we have a small industrial oven which works great, however any oven will do, even a toaster oven will get the job done. It is important though, do not use an oven that is still in use for cooking food for human consumption. You never know what's on these beads, there will be a pile of moisture coming off of them, and if there's any contamination or oil supply, you don't want that in an oven used for baking. Allow the desiccant to dry for approximately one to four hours. When it is complete, it will be bright blue in color, just as you see here. Allow the desiccant to fully cool before putting it back in the canister and putting your three-stage dryer back into operation, and you should be set for many more hours of plasma cutting performance.